So would you really drink red wine with seafood? Well, stay tuned. forward to doing another virtual wine tasting dinner and this time I had to do it because it was with Planeta, one of my favorite Sicilian wineries. Well there we go, some garlic bread in this time, some arancini, tri-colored cauliflower salad and look what's for dessert, cannoli and I even get to fill them myself. And then here are the four wines from Planeta, one of the best wineries in all of Sicily. I'm so excited to share these with you guys. There's the uh, first white wine, uh, a Grillo, and then there's another one, a Fiano, and then this uh, Mount Etna uh, Norello Masculese is just incredible, and then there's a Nero de Avila, and that's the red wine that's actually going to be paired with a seafood stew. And I thought, ah, I've never had a red wine uh, like a Nero de Avila with seafood before. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, the, the, each wine was just really stunning. So what a great lineup. And I, I think maybe that Planeta Cometa, the Fiano, was maybe one of my favorites of the evening. All right, so here we go with the very first wine, the Grillo. It loves heat, does really well in Sicily, and we're having it with the Arancini. And what's funny is uh, Alessio Planeta, who's walking us through the wine um, uh, dinner, said there's a big debate in, in Sicily. Do you call it Arancino or Arancina? Which I thought was humorous. So there's Alessio with his beautiful winery, and he's walking us through the wines with our dinner. You can hear him in the background walking us through. And I think this is, uh, that is the Planeta um, uh, Fiano that we were drinking. And it goes with this salad, which is beautiful. Three different um, types of cauliflower, and had this great vinaigrette with golden raisins, capers, and pine nuts on top. Just fantastic. All right, well now it's ready for the pasta course. And uh, it's with a, uh, a, a pasta called casarecce, and it's with a very nice um, uh, almond and tomato pesto. And this pasta is just so great. Look at that. It's like it's like a little, sh uh, they roll it and it has like a little crevice in the center. Indigenous to Sicily, very famous there. And of course, uh, my Italian restaurant, Thompson Italian, did a great job with making their fresh pasta, just like the last um, wine dinner. And I wanted to give you a little tip on when you're making pasta. And this could be dried pasta or fresh pasta. Do you see how I'm taking a little bit of that water and I'm going to reserve it uh, to the side and I'm going to add it later. And you also, other big tip is make sure you add a lot of salt to that water. That water should be very salty and it helps flavor the pasta. Well, another thing to look for, so this is maybe the third tip, so salt water, reserve some of the water. With fresh pasta and most pasta, when it starts floating on top, you're usually uh, safe to uh, pull it out and make sure it's al dente. Well, now I'm gonna take the almond pesto uh, sauce and put it in there and it was just delicious and <laughs> I think you guys know me enough uh, I'm gonna add just a little more olive oil than what the uh, chef put in I have to have just a little bit of olive oil of course and now I'm going to take the fresh pasta the casa reche and I'm going to put it back into the pan make sure it's well drained of course and I'll put it back in there now it's time to add that reserved pasta water. And you may think, why do I want to add water to it? it, it you know, I thought I just drained it, <laughs> and you did. But I find if you add a little bit of that pasta water back to it, it does this great job of sort of making the sauce thicker and combine and give that nice little extra flavor. Look how gorgeous that pasta is. And now we're having that with the Norello Mascarese. And this is the seafood stew that we're gonna have with the Nero the Avila. Man, I never thought I would have red wine of that with uh, something seafood like that. So it went very well. Uh, I think the Norella Mascarelli might have been just a little bit better. Uh, 
um, but uh, it, 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 was, it, was, it was very good. And I'm going to put some more notes about each wine in the description box. Well, now the uh, pastry chef, Catherine, gave us um, directions and she showed us how to fill our own cannolis. And that had like dried orange rind chocolate chips with this delicious mascarpone. And um, they fried the shells for us, luckily. And so you fill both ends, and she showed us how to do it, which is another great thing about attending these uh, virtual wine dinners. And then you dip it into these pistachios. Oh, wow. How delicious is that? And, of course, I had to, you know, taste it to make sure it was going to be good. Well, thank you for joining us this week. I can't wait to do another uh, episode with you. And enjoy yourselves, and cheers, everyone. We'll see you next time.